Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make this little bow and I'm going to show you how to attach it to a rubber band so that you can have your own little bows on a rubber band which will be really cute for little girls. All you need for this project is a 4.5 millimeter hook, a rubber band, a bit of washed weight yarn which is 4 ply for the US, 10 ply for the UK, and a tapestry needle. And that's it. Let's get started. Your slip knot, leaving yourself a bit of tail that can be sewn in later. It'll give you a more clean finish when you get done. So you want to start off by chaining four. Get a little closer for you. Now in the second chain from the hook, which is this one here, we want to do a puff stitch. How you, how you do a puff stitch is you yarn over, you go into that stitch, which is the second chain from the hook, pull up a loop, you've got three loops on your hook, you yarn over, go back into that same stitch, pull up a loop, you have five loops on your hook, yarn over, go into that same stitch, and pull up a loop. Now you have seven loops on your hook. Now you want to yarn over and pull through all seven loops and then chain one to secure the puff stitch. I'll show you that again in slow motion. Then you want to do that one more time for your third and final puff. And chain or secure it. And then you want to chain one more and turn. Now we want to have a total of seven rows done like this. So for rows two to six, we'll be doing it the same way. I'm going to be making our puff stitches. I'm going to be using the top space of the puff stitch. And we're going to do the same for the first one. You yarn over and then you go into the stitch. You would do a puff stitch in the first stitch. Remember to always chain one to finish the puff stitch. Then you yarn over, go into the next top, and do another puff stitch. And again, you want to continue to do this until you have a total of seven rows. So this is your second row completed and when you get done with the row you want to chain one to close the puff as usual but then you also want to chain one before you turn it just makes it easier to work in this top space so continue to do this until you have seven complete rows of puff stitches 
Then when you get done with your seven rows of puff stitches, leaving yourself a bit of a tail to wrap around the bow, and uh, to also sew onto a project if you want to use one of these small ones for to sew on a booty or uh, maybe a little skirt or something like that or a baby blanket uh, it'd be great for that but if you wanted to put on a hat maybe you'd want to make it uh, another three wide and a little, maybe a little longer so that you'd have kind of a bigger bow Now you want to thread one of your, I'm going to uh, do my small one first. You want to thread it with your tapestry needle through your stitches till you get to the center. And then pull it through. Not too tight. You want to pull it just so the stitches aren't going to show here and it's not going to be loose and it's not going to tug on your project. And do that exact same thing for your other side as well. Try to feed them somewhat of the same into the same area. Okay, now. I'm going to take both my pieces now that they're here in the middle and I'll start to wrap them around the center. And once I got them back in the back and it's wrapped around as much as I like, I'll put my hook underneath all those wrapped yarn that I just did. And I'll grab those two loose strings and pull them through to the other side of my bow. And I'll use this rest of this excess. Oops. Off camera there. Use the rest of the excess and just pull it through that loop I just made. And if the other one's uh still loose. You can always go back under again and tuck it back. And then feel free to cut it if you like. So once you've made your um, your bow and you're ready to attach it to your rubber band, what you want to do is attach using the single crochet method. Make a slip knot go into the rubber band and then all you want to do is just pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops making your first single crochet and I'm going to be working over my tail here you want to make them as tight and uniform as you can but not too tight to where it's going to actually warp the rubber band itself but you want it to have a nice nice connection together throughout. And you just want to continue to do this all the way around. Okay, when you get your rubber band up to about this point, you want to grab your bow, and since I'm going to be using it for um, as a rubber band, I'm not really going to need this excess that I have here, so I'm just going to hide my tail. So you got it on your rubber band about this point and ready to attach your bow. What I do is I'll gather one side over here, 
keeping it as even as I can. I want that middle. I want to have three on this side, three on this side. I want that middle row to be covered. So I'm going to go in here in my middle out of my three rows here. I guess it's going to be the one closest on either side of my connection, leaving the two rows on the side. I'm going to go through two of those stitches there. And I'm just going to slip stitch. Slip stitch here and then slip stitch there. Then I'm going to go back into my ring here and do two more single crochets. And then I'm going to go through my center section here. And again, I'm going to slip stitch to connect. Then I'm going to go back into my ring again. Do two more single crochets. Now again, I'm going to go through the other side of where my, this is the center of my bow here. I go on the other side, and again, I'm going to slip stitch to connect. And again, I'm going to do two more, two or three or whatever it takes you to get to the end to finish off your rubber band. I'm going to add about four just to kind of make it look better here. And when I get done, I'm going to, I should probably slip stitch on top here. You need to do one more slip stitch to connect your yarn. Then chain one, giving yourself just a bit of tail, cut your yarn, get your tapestry needle, thread, and then now working in through those stitches here along the band. Just feed your tail through there. Then pull and cut your yarn. And that's it. That's how you get a bow tie on, on a uh, rubber band makes a nice little hair accessory for your daughter. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to like and please don't forget to subscribe.